This is your host, A.B., on this Wednesday, July the 6th edition of Breaking News. Now, in today's news, if you want to find a good quality woman that is marriage material, go to Whole Foods. Just think about it. That's the last place any woman would expect a man to be. Women are going in there to find healthy food to stay in good tip-top shape, and they don't think a man will be anywhere near there. So that's why that's the good, a good place to find a quality woman, because all the quality women are in there, the women that care about their health. And you can always go to a salsa dancing class, a lot of quality women in there, a cooking class, a lot of quality women in there art gallery, a lot of quality women in there, a poetry reading, a lot of quality women in there. Because those are places women don't expect men to ever go. Though, uh, men, women typically expect men to take them to just a dinner, a movie, and then bring them back to the apartment or condo or whatever and fuck, pretty much. And typically these women will say they're not happy with just going to dinners and movies all the time. They typically want to go to the art galleries and the poetry readings, but they're not dating a guy that will actually take them to those places. They're only dating a guy that will take them to dinner and a movie and just fuck them, pretty much. They ain't dating no guy that's adventurous that will actually show them more things in life than just dinner and a damn movie. So, But if you want to find a whore, all you got to do, go to any church on a Sunday morning and you'll find a whole bunch of whores. And I'm telling the truth. See, I haven't been to a church in like five years, and I ain't going back to that to that place. Cause see, after reading the Bible, listening to that to them false ass preachers all these years, and when I read the Bible for myself, I know who the real Lord is. I know who the real Lord is. And that's what these Christian churches ain't gonna tell you. They ain't gonna tell you what's actually in the Bible. So I'm saying, fuck all them churches. But if you want to find a whore, all you gotta do is go to church. On, a, on any church on a Sunday morning, you'll find a whole bunch of whores. You ain't got to go to no club. The whores at church, they're going to be the ones with their cleavage out. They're going to be the ones with the short little dresses. They're going to be the ones sucking dick in the coat room. They're going to be the ones fucking dudes in the coat room, sucking dick behind the tree, sucking dick under the dining room table. And when I when I mention stuff like that, that stuff that went, went on when I was going to a church, that kind of stuff went on at my church, you know. As crazy as that may sound, that actually that stuff actually happened, and that's how I know that's the biggest place to find a whore. Just go to any church on a Sunday. Now, I'm gonna touch on the NBA right quick. You know, you got Kevin Durant. You know, just signed a deal with the Warriors, so that means the Warriors about to win next year. You know, Stephen Curry gonna get his second ring. And I believe uh, Russell uh, Westbrook, when his contract, his one-year contract is up with um, with Oklahoma, he's going to go to Cleveland, or he's going to go wherever LeBron is. I put it like that. LeBron's talking about he's trying to leave Cleveland. Now, if LeBron leaves Cleveland, they're going to burn his jersey, so they might try to burn him this time if he leaves there again. But pretty much, is LeBron, with LeBron, it's about the money. If Cleveland is not going to offer him more money than he's ever seen, he's walking. And pretty much they, after him winning a ring for them, they want him to stay. They're going to offer him probably the biggest contract in the NBA history to get him to stay. They might offer him a $200 million deal for five years or something. Some crazy, some crazy numbers like that to try to get him to stay. Then you got Derrick Rose going to... Uh, the Knicks, and then you got. Uh, I guess he. I guess they're gonna uh, give him a two-year deal because Derrick Rose is really a liability. You know, he he can barely he barely plays ball nowadays because of his his knee injuries. So he's really a liability to the entire NBA. So that's why they're only gonna give him a two-year deal, and after that, he'll probably retire, and invest his money in something in a business or something because he's he's really wa washed up. You know, he's done. And now Noah's going to come over there with him. They're offering him uh, 
I think what they offered him a hundred million dollar contract, hundred fifty million, something like that. And the Bulls only offered him, I think, like eighteen million a year, or seven million a year, something like that. So, you know, that'd be good. And um, I still think, oh yeah, and Rondo just signed a, I think, a two year deal with the Bulls. So I guess that'd be pretty good for the Bulls. I personally feel Carmelo should go ahead and go to the Bulls. And uh, I actually feel um, Tim Hardaway Jr. would do uh, good with the Bulls. But, you know, that's my opinion. But this has been another edition of Breaking News.